Hi, today I wanted to take a look at the using the Xbox 360 as a Windows Media Extender uh, for Windows Vista using Media Center. Um, obviously, there are some great uh, benefits to using a system like this, especially if you have a lot of uh, movies and files on your desktop that you would love to watch on your big screen TV. Um, so using a device like this, you'd be able to just stream everything directly from your desktop uh, to your screen uh, without any problems. Everything really, really pretty much works uh, out of the box as it seems. Uh, as long as you hook up the Xbox TV network, uh, they're on the same network as your desktop, then you'd be able to, it'll automatically recognize your desktop and it'll actually set, set that up for you automatically. The setup was actually pretty quick, uh, pretty painless, it was actually worked very well. Um, of course, there are some negatives and downsides, which we'll get to. Uh, another plus, obviously, of the Xbox 360 is it, it's, uh, it's, it's HD compatible, it's HD capable um, it's as a gaming system, but therefore makes it the first Windows Media Extender uh, with HD capabilities, so that I mean, that's great for streaming any HD movies that you have on your desktop, uh, or uh, uh, high def movies that you have on your desktop, or high def films or more TV shows. You can stream those to your TV without any problems, all in high def, as long as you have the bandwidth available, obviously. Um, uh, some of the downsides I, I found out. First of all, uh, I'm, I'm, I've never used a different Windows Media Extender before, um, but I'm guessing that they're you know they're low powered uh, devices that that uh, turn on pretty quickly. But the Xbox 360, I'll, I'll show you in a minute now, actually ta it takes a while to boot up, uh, to load up until you get into the Windows Media Extend, uh, Windows Media section. Um, also, it, uh, <clears throat> it takes up a lot of power. It uses a lot of power. It's actually a little loud. It has a loud fa fan in there. Um, let's just give you a show now. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to shut it off. And I'm going to turn it back on. And now you'll see how it loads up. So if you're now sitting in your living room and you want to uh, watch a movie, watch it, you know, it'll take a little time till it loads up. Um, but movies and stuff, I wouldn't really mind. What I would, what I would really mind about and what I hear is some people use their uh, Windows Media Extenders and, and uh, Windows Media Centers on their desktop to record uh, their TV shows and to, uh, to use it pretty much as a TiVo. Uh, <clears throat> also, really, even to watch TV is they have TV tuners on their desktops. Um, but to use the Windows, the Xbox for something like that, it doesn't just doesn't seem feasible. So once we load into Xbox, into the Xbox, uh, the, the the main uh, main menu over here. Then you would click on the media center uh, uh, shortcut, and that would take a little time also to come up. So until that comes up, you know, it, take, it could be about like 20, 30 seconds or so, uh, which is a little long time if somebody just wants to watch a TV show. Okay, so once we're in here, let's see, it takes a little time even to contact. Okay, so once we're in here, the uh, interface is actually pretty cool. Um, this is the new interface uh, that came with the uh, Media Center for Vista, um, which is pretty much a uh, columns and rows uh, uh, interface. So you'd have your music, and that would, then you would just scroll to the side. Uh, then you'd have your pictures, and you'd scroll, you know, pictures and videos, scroll to the side. Uh, tasks. It actually reminds me of the interface of uh, uh, that Sony uses on their PSP uh, and also on their PS3. <clears throat> but uh, Anyway, the, the interface is pretty cool. It works pretty well. Uh, some complaints that I would have is, especially in videos, if I'm, you know, if I go into my video library, it doesn't show any name of the videos. It just shows like the the clips. It just, you know, as, as it comes up. So if I go into my home videos here, so you see, you would see if 2001, 2000, these, these here, these are my folders. So if I go into my 2001 folder, uh, see, it doesn't give me the names. It just gives me the names on the bottom. But if I wanted, if I had, let's say, like 20 videos in here and I wanted to see through them. Uh, very quickly, just you know, scroll through the names. You can't do that. It just gives you the actual the thumbnail, and then you'd have to actually scroll over them. I uh, haven't found a, a, a fix online or anything like that for it yet. I'm still searching. Um, another uh, major downside for the Xbox 360 using as media extender right now is that it doesn't support DivX or XVID uh, or any MPEG4 uh, format, uh, which most people usually have their videos on that format since it's such, you know such a high, highly compressed and well compressed uh, format. Uh, so actually, you'd have to download a. Uh, you can go to uh, it's called Trans, uh, Trans 360 Transcoder, I think, or you can go to runtime360.com uh, and you can download there. Uh, they have a hack on there in order to be able to stream DivX. It actually transcodes the videos on the fly. So as long as you have a, 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 a you know a nice processor on your desktop, uh, it actually works very well. I'm using that now. Actually, it works pretty well. I'm watching a friend's episode, let's say, from my desktop, um, and actually, you know, it runs properly. It actually looks great. Uh, so um, it's really all around. It's a great, great device. Uh, I really bought an Xbox 360 for gaming, and then uh, you know, once you uh, figure out you know what else it does, it's actually um, very, very enjoyable to use. 
Uh, again, it's not it's not the best device to be using. Let's say if you're you know always using your meteor extender, I wouldn't say it's the best device to use again because it uses a lot of power. And it takes too long to boot up. And they maybe like something they should do is put like a suspend mode, which they don't have on the Xbox, where they could just you know it, it, like almost like a desktop, it just puts it in suspend so that you can uh, load right back into where you were last, um, and it's under a very low power state mode. But they don't have that yet on there. Uh, maybe the next the next Xbox update will, will bring something like that. Um, but anyway, this was a look at the Xbox 360 as a media extender using media, using Windows Vista Media Center. Uh, and again, it's a great, great, um, great program, great device. I would highly recommend it. Uh, you'd obviously just have to, you know, do a few of those hacks. Um, first of all, the, X, uh, the MPEG, MPEG4 hack, uh, as well as uh, you know anything else that you may need on there. Uh, there are a lot of hacks, hacks out there, and again, that's usually how it works, especially with Microsoft stuff. Um, you know, some tweaks and hacks that you'd have to do in order to get it exactly how you like it. Uh, anyway, that's it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.